Hello, Internets. Today, we're going to make something. I think it's actually going to be kind of cool. So let's get it all laid out on the table and we'll talk about it. One of the cool but simple things that you can make on a larger format CNC machine like this is a sign. I've got a couple things. First of all, I've got this piece of half inch. I think this is Baltic birch plywood. And I painted one side of it so it has a color on it, which will be kind of cool. And we're doing that because the bit that we'll primarily be using is a 90 degree V bit. And we're also going to use a couple other bits, one to kind of help V-bit out by making it so it doesn't have to carve out the flat area of one of the larger spots. And then I'm going to also use a quarter inch end mill for cutting out the sign. The other thing you can probably see here is this tube of mystery white stuff. And what this is actually is vinyl paint mask. And we're going to actually put this vinyl paint mask on top of the wood here. And that's going to end up allowing us to engrave through the vinyl paint mask. And whatever we engrave through on the vinyl paint mask, we should be able to then spray paint it black or something. It should all come out to be a two-tone sign. The eighth inch in mill is first here. Unfortunately, it's not too exciting because of the dust shoe, obviously. I do believe that the bristles are a little too long for the eighth inch end mills. Next up is the V-carving bit, which turned out really nice. I'm very happy with it. This V-bit came from Inventables, but it's just a half-inch, 90-degree V-bit with a quarter-inch shank. When the V-bit plunged all the way down into the graphic for the first time, I wasn't really expecting that, but I'm very impressed with how well the machine handled all the stress of that. You might be able to tell that I cut the bristles on the dust shoe just to kind of deal with the fact that they were just way too long. This right here is a pretty good view of the quarter inch end mill milling out the profile. Well I gotta say that looks like it went pretty well actually. It's kinda sad that my dust shoe bristles were a little too long but I cut them down and it worked okay. A lot better than without a dust shoe during the V carving. The letters are very neat and crisp and the paint mask is still applied very good so I think we'll be able to paint it so and then I'll show it off once we're done painting it. Painting the letters black really wasn't an exciting part so I decided not to actually film it but you can see me peeling off the paint mask here. It peels off just wonderfully. I'm pretty darn happy with it. Originally I was going to actually paint the compass as well but I decided I really liked the pattern that the plywood made. Other than that I really have to say that I'm super excited about that vinyl paint mask that I used. I bought mine from Inventables, which I think it wasn't that expensive even for quite a lot of it. And I'll put the link for that vinyl paint mask in the description of the video. Anyways, this is like the first real large scale project that I've done on my DIY Oko. And I think it's turned out really well. I'm really, really happy with everything. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and everything. And have a great day, Internet.